Hun Sen born August 5, 1952 is the 34th and current Prime Minister of Cambodia, Deputy President of the Cambodian People's Party, CPP, and Member of Parliament, MP, for Candle. He has served as Cambodia's Premier for more than 25 years, making him the longest-serving head of government of Cambodia and one of the longest-serving leaders in the world. From 1979 to 1986 and again from 1987 to 1990, Hun Sen served as Cambodia's foreign minister. His full honorary title is Samdek Akik Mohasina Padadika Hun Sen, meaning Lord Prime Minister, Supreme Military Commander Hun Sen. Born Hun Bunal shortened to Hun Nal, he changed his name to Hun Sen in 1972 two years after joining the Khmer Rouge. Hun Sen rose to the premiership in January 1985 when the KPRP-dominated National Assembly appointed him to succeed Chan Sehu who had died in office in December 1984. The position would be held by Hun Sen until the 1993 elections when the latter lost an election bid. Refusing to relinquish power and after negotiations with the Funsen Pek party, Hun Sen jointly served as prime minister with Noradam Ranarit until a 1997 coup. Dung Hewitt was then selected to succeed Rana Ridd. In 1998, he would lead the CPP to victory in the elections but had to form a coalition government with Funsen Peck. Hun Sen has since been elected consecutively and is currently serving in his fifth prime ministerial term, and vows to rule until he is 74. Hun Sen was 32 years, 162 days old when he became prime minister, making him at that time the world's youngest head of government. One of the world's longest-serving leaders, with a reputation as a wily operator who destroys his political opponents, Hun Sen is widely viewed as a dictator that has assumed authoritarian power in Cambodia using violence and intimidation and corruption to maintain his power base. Hun Sen has accumulated highly centralized power in Cambodia, including a Praetorian Guard that appears to rival the capabilities of the country's regular military units. The former Khmer Rouge commander has consolidated his grip on power through a web of patronage and brute military strength. Hun Sen was born in Kampong Cham, and was the third child of six children to a peasant family. His father, Hun Niang, was a resident monk in a local wat in Kampong Cham province before defrocking himself to join the French resistance and married Hun Sen's mother. Di Yan in the 1940s. Hun Niang's paternal grandparents were wealthy landowners of Tio Shou Chinese heritage. Hun Niang inherited some of his family assets and led a relatively comfortable life, as they owned several hectares of land until a kidnapping incident forced their family to sell off much of their assets. Hun Sen left his family at the age of 13 to attend a monastic school in Phnom Penh. When Lan Nol usurped power from Sihanouk in 1970 during a bloodless coup, Hun Nal gave up his education to join the Khmer Rouge. Two years later, Hun Nal changed his name to Hun Senator in 1974, Hun Sen met his future wife Bun Rane. He was wounded his left eye in battle and had it later removed in 1975, on the day before the Khmer Rouge captured Phnom Penh. The following year, Hun Sen married Bun Rane. Hun Sen is married to Bun Rane. They have six children, Kamsat, deceased, Mane, Mana, Manath, Mani, and Mali, adoptive. Hun Mane is a 1999 West Point Academy graduate and obtained his PhD in economics at the University of Bristol. In 2010, Mane was promoted Major General in the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces, RCAF, and became the deputy commander of the Prime Minister's bodyguard headquarters. All three of Hun Sen's sons play big roles in his regime. His older brother, Hun Neng, is a former governor of Kampong Cham and currently a member of parliament. Although Hun Sen's official birthday is April 4, 1951, his true birth date is revealed to be on August 5, 1952. Hun Sen is also affluent of the Vietnamese language in addition to his native Khmer and his fluency in the former have made him a target of criticisms among anti-Vietnamese detractors. Hun Sen also speaks some English and began learning the language from the 1990s, but usually converses in Khmer through interpreters when giving formal interviews to the English-speaking press.